The lower Fraser is home to thousands of white sturgeon, some living more than 100 years and growing longer than three meters. So we're just looking around here for a concentrated area that'll have some of these juvenile sturgeon. The white sturgeon is a species at risk. It's catch and release only. Kevin Estrada is an angler. He's tagging the fish, collecting tracking data. That research shows a decline of 15,000 juvenile fish in the last four years. Where are they going? Uh, what's happening? So that's just a little guy there. You can see how sharp he is. That's their plate of armor all the way along the sides and the top. Those are their scoots. And so this is what a sturgeon should look like. Yeah, I mean, he's immaculate. He's, uh, he's pristine condition. Far different from these sturgeon he's caught before. Bloody bycatch from gill nets used by commercial fishermen and First Nations to catch salmon. It's not just this size, it's the six foot and the seven foot and the eight foot that are about to spawn. Um, those fish dying along with the little guys, you're losing them at every single age class. In December, a local MP presented a petition in Parliament asking for new restrictions on the use of gill nets in the Fraser, something that doesn't sit well with First Nations. We do catch some and we, uh, we monitor our fishery very heavily and we know how many fish uh, we, uh, we impact, how many we catch and how many we release. And almost all of the fish that we catch are released alive. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans says sturgeon are also threatened by pollution, predators, hunger and habitat loss. It's working to address the threats. But Estrada wants results now. If you had elephants and tigers and owls and eagles tangled up in gill nets um, and it's a visual and you can see it, people would be losing their minds, right? And, uh, and we can't, you can't see a sturgeon, right? Sturgeon aren't in the Coca-Cola commercials. He worries these prehistoric fish will be gone forever if more isn't done to protect them. See you later, buddy. Anita Bath, CBC News, Mission. <laughs>